Hello, Internet. Welcome back to the land of Tex Murphy. San Francisco in the year 23333333333333 and a third. The radioactive wasteland dominated by radioactive dung beetles and radioactive lizards, which are caught in, in, in some sort of war. I, I don't know. Wilson is messing with his phone, so I had to stall. I'm waiting on you to finish. All I saw was you mm. just messing with your phone. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. It's literally in my avatar profile. Me messing with my phone. That That's my gimmick. <laughs> I thought you knew this. I well, mean, I you, am the one that, that you, made you, the... You made the picture, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> anyway, we still have yet to finish the game. We're so close. We we need one more card, and we know where oh, the other two one more. is with the Law and Order Party. As one of the people told us, that's where it was. We're just coming up short on uh, how the, the, the card we don't know about. Obviously, mm. we missed something. Um, one of the things that I could have done between last week and right now is go through all previous 16 plus hours of footage that we have and just take detailed notes on what we searched, what we found. Uh, well, I didn't because I was streaming every single day and I was busy with other things like editing a video mm. and uh, exercise mm. and me. stuff. And Playing with my phone. I found a wiki. Did you, you cheated? No. I, I have it up on my phone now. So you're cheating. I am... In the process of cheating, yes. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, th we have the information available. It's just we got to find it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do know that last week we found a key. It doesn't do anything mm. in the lab that we were working <coughs> in, but I do remember mm. the beach house uh, at 6470... There was this like safe mm -hmm. in like the coffee table or something. We we it, it just kept saying we don't have the key. Mm -hmm. We have a key now. Yes, we could try that out. We were in Bosworth's lab last time. No, it was oh yeah yeah Bosworth lab. That's where we got the key, mm -hmm. and we found out something about Big Surf Hotel, and that's how we learned about Lola Love Toy and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Robert Knott. And apparently, we can't find Robert Knott. And uh, apparently, he'll find us. No, no, it's B, it's B. Jim Slade who's going to find us. Mm. And probably through him we find Robert Knott, and that's how we find the uh, gray pass probably card. Probably the Law and Order party, yeah. Yeah, because those, those two are with the uh, Law and Order thingy. Mm. But I'm thinking the first thing we do is go back to 6470 and uh, try out that key. And if, if, if... This is where I wish I, I um, you started a new game. No oh, shit. I think you gotta go through the cutscene. Well, anyway, continue talking. Oh, that sound! They enjoy oh. this. Ow! Ow, my ears! Mm. Escape to exit. Hmm. Help us is, is available press, by pressing H. That doesn't help us. I mean, in the beginning, that would have helped us. Oh, her name is Vanessa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I keep calling her Viola. You're weird. Well, she looks like a Viola. Or a Victoria. Or a Veronica. Or a Valerie. Resume saved game. Zero, zero, 001. Or we can go to zero, 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 0009. Apparently we'll be at the end of the game. But then we won't know how we got there. <laughs> <laughs> details, details. We won. In stream. Yay. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Or we can actually uh, uh, try using our brains to solve the puzzles. 
because we we have already learned that you know, the 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 key at location A will unlock door at location B and stuff Give like that. Give you a key for location D and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so where are we at? Well, where we need to go is, is the thing that we mm. is important, and that's uh, six four seven zero. You didn't type anything in. Yeah, I didn't hit it again. Six four seven zero. Yep. That is the other really? side of the map. Oh, I, I I thought it was like right next to it, the thing. Yep, way down there, and um, the, the south or wherever that is. Uh, so now, I know we got Karolinski's Carl. Carl? Carl? We got his Carl. Carl, Carl. Uh, I think that we, we got that in his warehouse, laboratory. Hopefully, we don't have to go back there because I, I believe fight. we had to. Yeah, gunfight through that. We did dumb down the gunfight, though, so they don't have, like, an auto stream of bullet shots right there at the end. See, mm -hmm. we got the one from Cal Davis. That was in the uh, monkey cage, ape cage, primate cage. Yeah. Um, Ron Morgan, we're going to his beach house. Where did 1998 go? I forget. There was a dead end, you think? Mm, I mean, I, th I don't know. We should probably check it just to be sh safe. Greg Call. Maybe that's where we were last week. Greg Call? It was a that's right. Bosworth Clark was like. A place, and we learned about the Big Surf Hotel. See, so yeah, it was Greg Call's lab that we were in. Mm. Uh, see, so we, jo we got John Klaus's card. We just, like, asked him for it. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam Jones, he, he was like the, the, the neo-Nazi guy. We basically stole his card. So mm -hmm. One, uh, two, three, four, five? No, no, we were no, in Bosworth Clark Lab because the dead body. Oh, Remember? yeah. Well, yeah, we, we yeah, 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 yeah. out. Okay, Greg Call, he was the one who had the, the like, the little cave with the Lost in Space robot. Mm. He's, he's the purple card. Okay, so we got that one. So, yeah, it's the Bosworth Clark one that we don't have. And that was the lab. I, I, I still feel like something is in that locked door. We just don't have the key to open it. And... Either the game is trolling us... And I will not put that past this game, because, I mean... <clears throat> I think we just didn't loot everything in there, because that was... Or we didn't loot everything in a previous location. Because it was... I was looking at the, the wiki, and it's like, you know, move this, and find this under that, and it's all over his lab. I think there was something under the glass. We didn't play with the glass. Oh. And then the wiki said to move the glass and get something. So I'm thinking maybe there's a key uh, under the glass that we're missing. But there's no card in his lab. Just some loot and things. So maybe there's some information that we're missing in one of the locked cabinets that'll lead us to someone else. Possibly. But the card is not there. Okay, so we are here at the beach house. Dizzy. Um, Dizzy first. Oh, yeah. That's right, because I might do something stupid and uh, get eaten by piranhas. Yeah, we, we've already read this, so uh, we just continue on. Oh, there's that. Um, how did we disable that in the first place? <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, mm, no. Okay, it was on the coffee table. I think. Nah, back, back, back. <laughs> They're like switches. Mm. A switch. A yeah, console. Mm. 
It was one of the switches. Not that one. The car. Okay. Okay, that's the one. Okay, now let's safe. Open. It is locked and you don't have the key. Okay, so the key mm. we found is not the key that goes here. Okay. Mm. Now, did we check? There was something about like 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 a. I just bought the microphone. There yes, was something please. about like a, like a microwave or a coffee maker over there in the mm -hmm. right. Did we check those? Possible. It's been so long. I cannot remember. Yep. Back out, back out, back out, back, 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 factory reset, back at the beginning of the game. Hmm. Microwave is bolted down. Open it. Anything inside? Look in it. Remember, this is Tex. He, he needs to be... It's bolted on the ground. Okay. He needs a little hand holding, is what I'm saying. Mm hmm. It's broken. Okay. I moved it, but it's. Also, that does not look like a microwave. Bolted to the ground. Uh, what about the fridge and freezer? The fridge. Let's look at the fridge. Small fridge. Small fridge. Move it. Secured. Open it. We got pizza ah, and we got juice. Pizza. Look at pizza. A Zippy's 12 inch pizza. I hear they're good. Open the pizza. Do you want to taste it? Here's good. Eat some of the pizza. It's cold, but it tastes great. It's, I, see, I told you. All right, we're taking the pizza with us. Let's look at the juice. Dr. Don's 100% non-radiated orange juice. Oh, it's non-radiated. You drink some of the orange juice, it's cold and refreshing. And it has a key in it. At the bottom of the orange juice container is a small key. I wonder... So wait, you hit a key in the orange juice? What, what? Yeah, I know. What if you swallow it by accident? Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, take this key. Okay. And take the juice, because we can get thirsty. Yeah, might as well. I mean, the whiskey will only get us so far. Oh, yeah, you need a chaser. <laughs> or you can mix them together and have a dirty mm. screwdriver. Mm. We already have two screwdrivers. Well, now we can have a third. Okay, now what's in the freezer? Small capacity flush mounted freezer. Ice cubes. Small tray of ice cubes sits in the freezer. Um, nothing to open. What do they taste like? They're cold and it hurts your teeth. You should see a dentist more often. What, if we, take, what if we take the ice cubes? Yeah. They'll, They'll just, just melt. Oh, come on, Tex. So he's perfectly fine eating 14,000-year-old fruit cakes and licking radiated waste. But nope, nope, we're too smart to take ice cubes with us. I mean, we have a cup. We yes. got the cup last episode. But we got a key now, so maybe we can open the safe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. The safe is... In we, already, we already got the pass card from this area, so I, I don't imagine it's going to be anything spectacular, but we could probably sell something. So one of these weird devices is the microwave. 
neither of which look anything like a microwave. Because I opened the fridge and freezer, so here's two doors open. Uh, maybe that's what microwaves look like in the future. Where was the safe uh, at? The console. Oh, the console. Okay. And we just got money. Woo. Let's look at it. Three grand? Holy crap. $3,000 in $50 stacks. Well, I mean, I don't think this guy's going to need it anymore. No. No. I mean, it's just money. It's not like something we've got to pawn and hawk on the black market. Well, um... Okay, so we can either go back to Bosworth's lab or we can go back to 1998 because I can't remember what we did there. All right. Let's go to 1998. Going to party like it's 1998. That doesn't flow right. And that is halfway across the world. Mm. Um. So, yeah, now it's just a bunch of backtracking and playing with shit that we didn't think we should have played with last time. Yep. Um, eating things that we don't think we should be eating. Well, see, I, mm. I mean, I'm telling you, the mechanic is there for a reason. Yeah, but it's also the troll, you know, we, we ate some things and it killed us, so we stopped eating things. Well, I mean, it's a dangerous job. And now we're eating things and finding keys, so, yeah. I hate this game. I mean, it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating, but it's fun. Yeah. I guess it's just more frustrating now that we're, like, right here at the end. You know, the middle, when we didn't know what we were doing, it was fun. Eat this thing, and oh, hey, you have radiation poison, you're dead. And we're still not there yet. <laughs> Almost. Well, halfway, because when we get down to five, it goes to a snail's pace. And then it takes him yeah, another yeah, minute to descend. Yeah, has to, to be descend. very, very careful to uh, avoid the, um, uh, the the giant radioactive dung beetles. Actually, it's slowing down at 10 now. This must be a dung beetle infested area then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he keeps hitting them. See how it's shaking back and forth? No, that's the trouble by them swatting at the air trying to get to him. Yes, unfortunately for our non-existent viewers, this is going to be a running gag, as was evident by the intro. Okay, we're almost there. Let's just be a dead end. I don't know, I mean, we, we figured out about the beach house somehow. All of the uh, one-acre property in Bakersfield, that was a dead end. But Ron Morgan, that, that was the one that was uh, getting it on with Della Lang, right? Maybe we learned about these addresses from her. Mm. And this one was a dead end. I, I don't know. This is like over a month ago, I think.
data, save, yes. Dizzy! Mm, okay, yeah, let's step back in time. Okay, so this was an actual location. Oh, this was his... This is like Ron's... Yeah, Ron Morgan. Yeah. So yeah, we, we searched... and We already have his cards. Um, yeah. We, we the found, only thing we could find here would be like another key. We, we found money in the moose head or something. Yeah, uh, something like we, that. We found yeah. her clothes in the couch. So now it confirms that they're... Uh, Having an affair. Did we also find like a VHS somewhere? Yeah. I see a TV. Yeah, there was like a porno VHS we found. Yeah. I think. But it could have a clue. Uh. I mean, just like drinking the orange juice could have a clue. It could have a clue. Enter. TV. TV panel. panel? Look. Might hide a small compartment. Hmm. Open it. It's already open. So apparently we've already found that. Okay. Hmm. Open. It's already open. There's nothing there. The wall switch. Normal wall switch used to uh, operate something. A fan. What if we turn on the fan? Maybe it can blow stuff around and... and... Okay, it just does that then. It's so immersive. Mm -hmm. It's like we're in the room with him. I'm waiting. On what? You, th it, you made a noise like you were thinking you're going to say something. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hmm. It's like I, I'm thinking back, trying to re remember what all we looked into, and I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Hmm. I have the wiki. No cheating. It, just, just to backtrack... Mm. Mm. I mean, you're right there at the controls. You can look into stuff. I'm waiting on you to say something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Remember the last time I started moving and touching things, I blew myself up three different times. Well, it's mm. a dangerous job. Mortgage book. Did we see that the last time we were here? Uh, yeah. Beach house located. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's how. It, that's how we discovered the beach house. Okay. And then the trash can had something that we found. Uh huh. Something crumpled up. I think that's how we found another person. So, uh, yeah, something. We may have already gone through this area thoroughly. The trash can appears to be securely fastened down. So you have to unbolt it from the floor every time they want to empty it? Yes, you made this observation the last time we were here. Hmm. I don't remember. Mm. Okay, what about the coffee table in the middle that has that appears to have junk under it?
Okay. I am literally on top of it. So. Table. Table. It's a breakfast, breakfast table. table. Move it. Nope. Just won't budge. Open it. Nope. Turn it on and off. Nope. Taste of it. Nope. It's yucky. It's nothing. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we did everything over the other side of the room. I remember we, we found some money and her underwear and the couch and we opened the moose head somehow and got uh, something of value <clears throat> to sell. Okay, I guess go back to that dangerous lab that electrocutes you. And then mess with more stuff and probably die a lot. That is uh, 9932, I think. 9932. Yep. 9932. At least that was not as far away. It's only 178 Metallica albums. Mm-hmm. Or 178 mm -hmm. Mega Beatles? Maybe that's what they're called. The, the, the giant radioactive dung beetles. They're mega beetles. Although that doesn't really sound like a, 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 a unit of standard measurement. Because, you know, some could be bigger than others. going right to the middle of the uh, purple lava that has radioactive pee in it. This must be the dung beetle hideout. They, they, they crowd around the radioactive lava for warmth and then they pee and poop around it and in it. That's what the brown is. Mm. Delish. And once again, Tex is having to uh, dodge their um, their swipes. And then slowly come to a standstill. So he's moving so slow that they, uh, they, they kind of lose sight of him. Because T-Rex logic. Or, or should I say Jurassic Park logic. And now we descend for another minute. I don't think it's going to be a minute. I think like 30 seconds. A house right on the purple lava. I mean a laboratory right on the purple lava. Uh, yeah, we read this. Dead as a rock. Okay, and there's stuff to mess with that we forgot to mess with last time. Last from stuff. Key. You want to move the cigarette butts too? Nope. Okay, they're not hiding anything. No, it was locked. Cabinet uh, right here. there. Enter. Not the outside. No, 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 no. no. Uh. There we go. Cabinet. Get move. Open. No, open. open. Oh, it doesn't open, but a door might. 
says the game that's being a smartass. Power unit, satellite transmitter, and canister. A large power unit. I wonder if you remove that, will the spark stop? It will not open. It won't on off. Can you get it? Nope. Too big. It's much too heavy to lift. Too heavy to lift. Try to pry it open, but it's no use. No way to turn it on and off. Obviously not going to taste it. Mm -hmm. Well, it might taste yummy. Satellite transmission unit. Apparently, oh, see. only qualified personnel are allowed to do that. If you're not careful, you could receive a powerful electrical shock. And you can't on off it. But you can get it. <laughs> Round metal canister. It's got stocks and bonds. Stocks and negotiable security, street value, $1,500. So something we can sell on the black market, because you know, black market people love stocks and bonds. You know, things that are easily traceable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wanna take the canister? Sure, why not? And sell it for one dollar? Sure. So, once again, we're still kind of at a dead end. Mm hmm. And you're cheating again. I'm just checking something. It's in this laboratory. Okay. Go to the table. Look at the cigarette butts. The matches. Get a code. We did that already. The code sent us to the hotel or something. Yeah, the, the Big Surf Hotel. Yeah. Broken glass, cabinet key, canister, stocks and bonds, take the satellite transmission unit, uh, move the body, get the wallet, get the money out of the wallet, uh -huh. his appointment book. There was a compartment behind the calendar with some more stocks. Uh, did we do that? The cabinet in the corner gave us the gloves. We did that. There was a key under the sandwich. Yeah. And then go back to the body and look at the panel. Open the drawer with the key and take the data from inside of it after we find the key under the sandwich. Did we do that? I don't remember. Okay, because that's literally every single thing you can do in this lab. Mm. Gotta go around the books. Gotta go all the way around the books. All the way around the body. Walk through the trail of blood. There we go. Control panel. Switch one and switch two. That just turns those monitors on and off. Yep. So it must be that one. These caps? Question mark. Yep. Panel. Control panel is short circuiting, so be careful. Uh huh. And there's a drawer. Okay, mega monitors, some of which are broken, display information receiving from the satellite. I don't think you want to mess with the switch. 
The switch? I don't think you want to mess with that. You sure? Okay. At, at least not until we save. Look in the drawer. It's a two drawer thingy. Open the drawer. Got data. Various computer listings of satellite transmission data, none of which makes sense to Tex. We'll take it anyway. Sell it for ten dollars. The computer might electrocute you. Or okay, it won't operate without a pass card. And we don't have this dude's pass card. And apparently, I've already looted okay. it. <clears throat> yep, that was it. The key opens the drawer, and we can take the data. <sighs> All right, but that works we're here. still at a dead end. Yep. So we don't have his card. No. And the other guy's card is with the Law and Order card. Yep. So yeah, we, we need to find someone somehow to get to the Law and Order party. Yeah, the, 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 only, the only big lead we got from here was for the uh, Big Surf Hotel. And the only thing we got from there led us to uh, Lola Love Toy. And the only thing we got from there was a reference to Robert Knott, who nobody knows anything about. Not even the money grubby Asian chick who knows everything and everyone. Even she was like, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And obviously this dude here had a pass card at some point because he, he's working at a station that requires a pass card. Yeah, he was murdered. It's just the pass card is not here. And his pass card was taken. somewhere is murdering all the scientists to yeah. tie up loose ends be it the uh, microchip implants that make them kill themselves or straight up assassination so yeah I'm just trying to figure out what exactly we've missed. Because <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't think we've really missed anything. We have all the cards up to this point. Yeah. And like I said, you know, his was stolen, and the other one is somehow in the Law and Order party, like in a locked box of evidence or whatever. And apparently, the whole Law & Order Party connection won't start until Big Jim Slade comes to find us. And so far, uh, that's not happened. I, I feel like that's going to be like a, a, a scripted event that is triggered by something, which I, I would assume would be finding all the other pass cards. You would assume. Unless, of course, we just did something that will trigger you know, uh. him to come for us. Like, maybe we'll get a fax or something. I don't think we will. I mean, it happened before, you know. You're too close. Lay off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check our inventory first. Save first. Okay, we got a message. What is, can we Can we read the message? In fact, dear professor, looking forward to our date Saturday Love Center. Okay, so that's from like way back in the beginning. Um, yeah, that's another thing. 
those of you that are watching these out of order, the, these do not go in the order that we collected them. They get thrown in at random intervals. Let's see, what's the book? The book is Psychology textbook by Ludwig Karolinski. Page a, a page is marked. Key. Mm -hmm. Do we get any info on the key? File cabinet key. To which digital audio tape. We listened to that. It was the guy who was just like, ah! Desk key, grade sheet for Blaze Wiener. Literal red herring. Uh, Professor, I had the possible Nexus system passwords. Okay, we, we, we got that one. SF. Who was SF? Sonny Fletcher. Oh, yes. Speaker's whiskey, no handwritten note says, I'm going to get you for failing me, Linsky. That was probably from Blaze Wiener. Was policy okay? Yeah, we know about that. that that's a red herring. Uh, MTC Corp. Yeah, it make you think it was the the daughter killing the father to get the money before the stepmother could get so anything. Have we been back to Sonny Fletcher since mm. learning about you know the, the these these people on on this big list? Maybe make a note of that. And we'll come back to it. Pepto, a can. Johnson and Johnson assorted edible somethings. Edible band aids. Ah, because that's exactly what you want to do with a band aid. Mm hmm. The radiation pills that if we took one would kill us. Let's see, pass card. Blue, Blue one. And the list. It's a scientist that may be working on Overlord, John Klaus, Maurice Gribble, and David Pope. John Klaus is the only one that's actually the stepladder. The stepladder that lets get to that one thing. I mean, one oil. We use that, that for something. Open something that was stuck. I thought it was just a joke to take the oil, and it ended up actually helping us. Keto, Keto safe. safe. Newspaper articles. Newspaper. The death publication. Cal Davis. Mrs. Reed's professor, they're on you. I suggest you disappear fast. SF. Sonny Fletcher, yep. Various chemicals in flask. Outside of flask has hazardous chemical written on it. Just been carrying those for a while. It's perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. Yeah, they're just test tubes and the thing inside my jacket. You know, I could fall, run into something. Someone could punch me or shoot me. Yeah, but nope, nope, perfectly safe. I'm surprised you can't, like, throw the chemicals during a gunfight. Or pour them on a safe to melt it. Well, it doesn't say corrosive. It just says hazardous. A random test tube. Or oh, a rack of test tubes. Uh, you look through the newspapers and see an invoice dated two days before Cal Davis died... There's metal. Uh, okay, that's the galley morse That's the thing we sold. Oh, bump your... The can. Another can. A can of Diet Coke. Small metal box. To Cal Davis. Subject Nexus September password coded word. Checkmate. Camel cigarette butt. Screwdriver. Key to a cabinet. Another key to a cabinet. Book is titled Control of Private Behavior Through Microchip Technology by Dr. Cal Davis. Canister. Brown metal canister. Stocks and negotiable securities, street value of 1500 Might as well sell it. Go and sell it now? Sure, why not? Let's see, transmitter, satellite transmission unit. I don't know why we need that. Sells for 800 I don't know. I feel like we might need that. Let's see, a book, one black appointment book, one of the pages is dog-eared. What's on it, Tex? Various computer listings of satellite transmissions, none of which makes sense to you. More stonks. Hmm.
Don't sell the data! We might need it! Oh, well, too late. You can buy it back, you know. Mm-hmm. You want to buy it back now? Might as well. Mm. What was that, anyway? Data of what? Various computer listings of satellite transmission data. Uh. It, it might be valuable to us for the quest. Blueprints of high-frequency satellite relay. Pair of gloves. Those are very valuable. A cup. Mm -hmm. Imprinted with Ski Utah. I have eaten bologna sandwich. Another filing cabinet key. The matches that sent us to the Yep Big Surf Hotel. In Los Angeles. The list is titled Caged Rats and it includes the names of top civic, political, and business leaders in the state. And it wasn't actually a list of anyone. It just said that and didn't give us the names or anything. Oh. Here's the key. Door key. Map of California, Lost Dutchman Diamond Mine. We've been, We've been there. there. This is the, this is the uh, purple this pass is the card. Purple pass card, another key. Diamonds! We could sell them. Mm hmm. Or we might need them. You're still on that. Well, there was that room of lasers. We had to put them down to divert the laser beam. But we don't need to go back there anymore. We, we got the pass card. Mm. It was the purple pass card. That okay. one right there. All right. Ten foot pole. That was very valuable. Fish food. Also very also valuable. The tape. Yep. Beach bimbos from Mars. Mm hmm. Pizza. Keeping that Cheers. for later. Also keeping that for later. I know it's not radiated. Wait. It's impossible to find non radiated food now. This Red is... pest card. Look at his photograph. Picture of an attractive woman in lingerie. The what up paper is a fax message with, which reads Dear Ronnie. Last night was incredible. You're incredible, but I need my nylons back. Yours always, Della. Yep. The water paper is a fax message which reads, Professor, in accordance with your instructions, I have moved your computer equipment to your beach house. It's a Phillips. We got Cheetos. And we got, we got Della's nylons. And Cuff Key... Scan the open page and something. Carl Linsky's death. Casually scan the magazine calculus monthly and not understanding anything. And of course, each minute you waste skimming articles brings you closer and closer to the deadline and impending doom. Doom! Food looks unappetizing. Okay, that's one acre near Bakersfield. We've been there. That was a dead end. Another key. To lock another lockbox. It's a safe, safe combination. combination. I think that was a safe combination for uh, Linsky's apartment Orange thingy. pass card. Green pass Green card. Pass card. Yeah, Yellow no pass, pass card. card. And that's it. Um. Well, let's see. Sonny Fletcher seemed to be in on this a lot. So what if we go back... Talk to him, and maybe we'll trigger something with... Uh, maybe. Sonny Fletcher was at 5170. Fifty-one seventy. Okay. Just making sure, because that's... Oh, right on top of us. Never mind. No, it's not. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's 161 Metallica albums away. It's closer than some of these places have been. Ever notice that album is a hard word to say? Album. Album? 
Album. I mean, yeah, if you put the emphasis in inflection or like that, yeah. Album. I mean, what, what is wrong with my emphasis in inflection? Album. I'm going bum. Bum. Like you're saying bum. Well, th that's how it's spelled. A L B U M. B U M is bum. Mm hmm. Album. I mean, how would you say it? Album. You're not saying it any any different than I'm saying it. I'm saying bum instead of bum. Um. Um. You're, you're dragging it out a little too long. The the vowel. It's not a vowel. It's an um, which okay technically is a vowel, but it's, it's a nasalized <laughs> vowel. Okay, technically, technically it's, it's it's a. Um, Okay, there's an actual word for it. Um, it's a consonant that is that's nasal and pronounced like a vowel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Linguistics. Yes, yes, I I know. I say, I, there, there there are two of them. There's the m mm and the m, mm. and unfortunately they sound very much alike. And if I do, if I don't put the emphasis there, the album sounds like album. And album is not a word. It makes no sense. It is if you talk about all the backwater hicks that we deal with on a daily basis. Album? Yeah, they run all their words and letters together. And, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. How do they run their words together to get album? I don't know. They talk like they have less than a fifth grade education. You hear them all the time. At work... In the store, it drives you crazy because they don't enunciate. Yeah, but not once have I heard heard them say album. I'm just saying. It's... Then again, I've never heard them say album either. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's okay. because my nose is all stuffed up that album is hard to say. Hmm. All right. Okay, let's dizzy. Today's episode is brought to you by Backtracking. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> uh, it is? Yes, it is. Hmm. Okay, we've we've been here. We've read this. It's a CD lobby and stairs and, and, and stuff. Oh yeah, this guy. I remember mm. this guy now. <laughs> Wearing yeah. lifestyles of the incredibly rich, lucky. Healthy yeah, he's very player. invested in his shows. He's got to watch his shows. I don't even know if I'm doing the right voice. It's been so long, I can't remember his voice. So he's getting this voice now. Maybe he's actually sober this time. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, uh, no. Look at that shifty eye. He ain't sober. <sighs> uh, Bosworth Clark. We need to know about his past card. Can't help you there. Uh, pass cards? Best card? No way I got nothing to say. Mm. What if I gave you one dollar? Mm. Bribe you? Uh, 200? Close, but no cigar. 300. Thanks, buddy. I'll tell you what I know. Professor Galinsky said the Nexus pass cards and passwords are vital to stopping the Overlord project. I was hired to help him find them. Galinsky's pass card is in a... Band-aid can at his lab. You'll need to you'll need it to operate the Nexus computer. We already got that one. What about Bosworth Clark? We need that one. What about the Law and Order Party? Law. Oh. No, 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 no. Law? No, no. It's it's a bribe thing. Oh. <laughs> Uh, question. There we go. Law and order. Okay, before we bribe, 
before we bribe. What if we ask about Big Jim Slade and Robert Knott? Okay. Robert Canute. Oh, he knows something. Of course he knows something. 200? Thanks, buddy. I tell you what. Okay, it's not going to be very valuable. He's headed to Law and Order Party. The group that wants all the freaks out of town. That's it? Oh, yes. So much information. Thank that you. That we didn't already know. Uh, Big Jim Slade. No help. Um. Be nice if we knew the colors of the past card that we were missing. Uh, I mean, the colors of the ones we've already found. We got blue, we got green, we got orange, we got red, we got yellow, we got purple, we know about gray. Uh, let's see. Black. Wait, wait, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Uh, it's either going to be black or white. Or maybe brown. Mm. Or possibly indigo. Or cyan. Black. Pass card? Brown pass card. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's do a test. Let's do a test. White. Let's do a test. Let's do a test. Pass card. Let's do a test. Okay. Blue pass card. We know he knows about uh, Carl Linsky's pass card. Blue pass card. Nope. Okay, so I, I don't think adding a color to the beginning is going to do anything. Once again, you bumped my mic. Yeah, nobody's watching. Nobody's listening. Nobody cares. <laughs> They're going to skip all this stuff and watch. Oh, my God. It's the end. Finally. Episode 30 something. <laughs> I don't think anybody even cares that much. We should really be playing trendy games. Like, uh, uh, um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's my problem. If it's, if it's trendy, I'm not going to like it. So I, I don't pay attention to it. I know Among Us was trendy at once. It, and, it's dead. And, I, and at one time, uh, Phasmophobia was like the hot thing. There, There's talk of an Among Us 2, and it's just off in the shadows somewhere. It, it, it's dead. The fandom is dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, House of Ashes. We could play that. Now, that'll get a lot of views. Like, maybe two. Because, you know, this is not exactly a big, well-known channel. Uh, uh, I, I can't think of anything else to, to ask him. Um, at least not to get us closer to the, to, to the one pass card we're missing. Uh... I am certain it's his because I mean he was working at a workstation that required a pass card. So it, it, he, he is, was he is he associated was with a pass card. He was murdered. His lab was trashed. Somebody stole his card recently. And we're just we're just it's like we're it's like we're one lead away from figuring it out. It's just, I don't know where that lead is. And not even Lee, who usually is, you know, our very expensive saving angel, knows anything about anybody. Maybe we gave her enough money to retire, and she's like, okay, I'm, I'm not in this business anymore. Uh-huh. Go bribe uh, other people I, now. I retire. What about Robert Yacht? Uh, I don't feel like it. <sighs> I'm just lounging on my giant sack of money, like a beanbag chair. <laughs> Remember that show, DuckTales, this character named Scrooge McDuck? I'm being like him now. Mm -hmm. I swim in pile of money. 
of 20s, 50s, 100s. Would that be comfortable? Just stuff a bunch of money uh, in into a sack. I think like it'd be bean, very, very crinkly. But it would be comfortable. It'd be like a beanbag chair. Not, not if there were like, you know, fat stacks all bundled together. Just like the, the loose leaf so they can move and shift and like you said, crinkle. Are, are, are they new, fresh, and crisp or are they worn and you know, really soft? Well, I mean, this woman's been getting money, so probably, you know, used, circulated bills. It, it might be comfortable. We're getting off on a tangent again. Yes. <laughs> this is why it's taken uh, nine episodes to do this. Well, nine plus. Uh, uh, and then we're being greedy, and we don't want to give her two and three thousand dollars to... Opened up the next set. See, I believe it was Arnold Dweeb that gave us this entire list. Yeah, Arnold Dweeb. We gave him like three grand. Uh-huh. And then he gave us a list of like 12 people. And that kind of blew the case open for a little bit. <sighs> See, a Big Surf Hotel was, was not actually an exploration thing. It was just like a page of text. Yeah, we went there and they said something happened. Blah, 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 go here or talk to this person or something. Yeah. We was just like, missed Slade. Was like a thing? A, a message or something about L- L- Lola Love Toy? Mm-hmm. I mean, th- these are the only two locations that we can, like... Unless Steve Clements knows something, because he apparently knows some stuff for this late in the game. Lola Love Toy, we already got her. Frank Shimmings, we know about him. You're cheating again? Um, I'm just looking at what's beyond the um, Bosworth lab. I'm like, okay, we've been to the hotel, we've... I mean, maybe we go back to some of those people and ask them about new stuff. Maybe. Because here's, you know, Greg Call's lab, that's the gloves with the pass card, we've already done that. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because a walkthrough is going to be written in the uh, order of most efficient movements, so you would do Greg Call after you get the gloves. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why I'm looking past it. Like, did we miss something? Because... We do everything out of order. Just running around, talking to this person, talking to that person. Go back, talk to this person, ask them a new question because I've had a new person. And back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, we have the yellow pass card, right? Yep. Okay, so that that's done there. I believe we got that from the uh, piranha tank. Vanessa about Lola. And she gave us the address. Have we been to Lola's apartment? Uh, We went to talk to her. I don't think... Basically, she told us about Robert Knott, and we can't get any info on him. Hmm. Uh, I can't remember if we asked anything else to her. From, from her... Of her? For her? Okay, what is the proper preposition there? Asked anything of her? That sounds wrong. I haven't done that kind of English. Wow. Like 20 plus years. We're old. Yeah, that's like sixth, seventh, eighth grade English where they teach you all the past, present, and future tense and 
oh, oh this isn't even that. It's like, like, what preposition do you use for this verb to mean blank? That, that's what I'm saying. That's like 6th, 7th, 8th grade English. The whole prepositional pairing and verbiage and everything. Getting you ready for, you know, the ninth grade writing test, eighth grade writing test. Because that's all they cared about. That's all they still care about. Can you pass the state test and make us look like we're doing our job? Great. <laughs> then they cut you loose when you're an adult and you don't know shit. Because all they teach you is how to show up, follow instructions, and uh, turn in your work. Mm -hmm. They'll actually teach you how to think or solve problems. Mm -hmm. Or use critical thinking or logic. Most people don't even know how to balance a checkbook anymore. It's all Cash App and Venmo and, and what is it? The the Apple Pay where you literally just tap your phone on the machine and it's done. How safe is that? Somebody can just get a scanner and read your credit card off of your phone. And also, you, you got to do spreadsheets to know how much money you actually have. Oh, no, they just click a button and it says your current balance is this much. And they go, sweet, I can afford to buy that thing I want. But budgeting, you got bills to pay, you got groceries to buy, you got gas to buy. That tank's almost full and they'll get a paycheck next week. It's all good. Chaos, pure chaos. <laughs> uh, anyway. So are we done with this guy? Yeah, I guess go back to Lola Love Toy and ask her more stuff. Like, ask uh, her stuff until her eyes bleed? <laughs> uh, oh, well, we're here. Do you know about Lola? Okay. Lola, Lola. That is a freaky song, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, when you're like, like a high school student and, and, and you hear that song for the very first time, it, it is like freaky. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, the Lola song. I love her like Cherry, cherry Cola. Mm -mm. I don't know what I am, but I know I'm a man, and so's my Lola. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have to listen to that after the streaming because I don't want you to get uh, some copyright strike on your non existent channel. No, it exists. <laughs> it's just the viewers don't exist. I mean, they exist as well. There's just, there's, the, they don't know that the channel exists. It's like the tree falls in the middle of nowhere, doesn't make a sound. If a live stream exists with no, no viewers. Does Did it, it happen? Exist? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we got to go to 4603. <laughs> oh, four. Six zero three, and that is all the way across the world. Uh. And now, watch for the next five minutes. We have nothing to talk about. Because we have plenty to talk about when we're, when we're like, we've got a person right there to interview. But when we actually need to uh, come up with idle chatter, uh, we've wasted it all idling on the wrong screen. Yep. So we went to 4603? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're very part planning. If you can't tell, these uh, shows are not exactly scripted. At all. Hmm. I know all the cool people, they script theirs and everything, but nope. This is... We're actually playing the game with no idea how to play the game. We're actually live streaming without having any idea how to live stream. We're living without having any idea of how to actually live. And we've successfully bumbled our way into almost 40 years of life. Dear God, we're old. Well, that's actually kind of impressive that, that we've lived this long in this system. Mm -hmm. Our luck stat must be through the roof. Does luck even really exist? It must. We've made it this far. But, I mean, according to science, uh, the entire universe is deterministic. 
more or less, mm. until you get into quantum mechanics, which has non-determinism built into it. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. We're at the five mark. Only a few more minutes until we land and we can get out of here. Okay, we're less than two Metallica albums away. Less than one Metallica album away. But we're still 11,274 outs in the sky. Whatever that is. Maybe 11,000 alts is the maximum reach of the radioactive dung beetles. Mm. And we have to go just a little bit above that as, as like a buffer to make sure they don't clip us. Or maybe that's how far up he is based on the size of his vehicle. So one, and then stack a vehicle on top of that, two... Three, four, five. So we're over 11,000 <clears throat> speeders in the sky? Sure. Okay, and we dizzy and then go ask her about uh, everything? Everyone? Escape, damn you. Lola's. She lives at her place. Lola's place is busy. Oh, this, this is not exactly her apartment. This is her place of work? Uh-huh. Oh, so she's the night owner. The night owner of what? This seedy sex place. Hmm. Maybe. Sex, big guys, nude freaks, totally awesome. Awesome, oh, so new cyclopes right there. Yeah. Okay, um, did we ask her about Bosworth Clark? Let's just ask her about everybody. Well, let's start with Bosworth Clark, because... Well, yeah, yeah. obviously. Bosworth Clark. No nope. idea. Uh, pass cards. Robert Knute. I think we asked her about this one. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Pass cards. Pass card. No help. Nexus. Hmm. Overlord. That's right. We asked her about that because. We, we did this before, so who's next? Uh, how about the Big Surf Hotel? Big Surf Hotel. No nope. Help. Big Jam Slade. Nope. Uh. What else do we got? I mean, directly related to the past card we're after, not much. Uh, how about Larry Hammond? Hmm. No help. Larry Hammond, um, Sonny Fletcher. Fletcher? Shut up. Hello, I'm looking <laughs> for Sonny Fletcher. I have a list. <laughs> uh, Sonny Fletcher. Who's the other guy? And then which other guy? There are a lot of guys. Uh, the the big guys that we've just recently been learning about. Oh, Saint Gideon. I mean, we did just get like six thousand dollars from selling all that crap. Yeah, that, that is true, but as long as it's not like worth a thousand dollars or anything, I, I don't know if this is actually going to be worth anything to us, though. I did save before I went in here. 
Oh, this to get did it did the 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 what? <laughs> this did give me the idea uh, that we should probably go back to like Frank Shimming, um, Gideon. Uh, who was the other guy? Tom Griffith. Did we go to? Did, did we visit Tom Griffith? I think so. He lived in like a crazy mansion or something. We, yeah, tried we, got, to, we got an address on him, so we tried to threaten him. Then got thrown out. And yet thrown out, yeah. Still not as cool as uh, what was it, Arnold Dweeb? We Bam! threatened him and he shoots us with a damn forty five caliber magnum. This is like the strongest handgun known to man currently. Not once, not twice, but three times he shot us. Yep. <laughs> he wanted to make sure we were dead. Sometimes you gotta make sure. Yeah, three shots at point blank range. Hmm. Well, you're tough guy. <laughs> Tom Griffith. My time is valuable. Maybe we go back to these people and ask them about Bosworth Clark or the past cards or, you know, Just Frank whatever. Shimmings. <laughs> hmm. Well, she knows about Tom Griffith, Frank Shimmings, and J. St. Gideon, which are all like big heads of MTC Core and what was the other one? Uh, Gideon? Gideon. But she doesn't know anything about the past cards. She doesn't know anything about past cards, passwords, Nexus. She knows about Overlord. So she knows about the the satellite project, just not its actual dark purpose. Hmm. Or maybe she knows about its dark purpose. She just, just doesn't know anything about the interface to uh, control it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Once when I was in Tom Griffith's office, he took a call from someone named Gideon. Tom was usually quite arrogant with most people, but he treated this guy with respect. See, nothing useful. Whose office was she in? Uh, Griffith's. So, she knows Tom Griffith. Mm. Well, we know his address. Yes, but what does she know about him? She's hanging out in his office? Mm. Well, she was once in his office. Mm-hmm. Who calls people buckwheat anyway? She does. Tom Griffith was interested in running MTC by himself. MTC and the Law and Order Party are developing a project together, and Griffith didn't want Frank Shimming to know about it. He hired me to get cozy with Shimming and keep an eye on him. Griffith gave me the key to an apartment. Uh, 4605. Do we have that one? Four, six, zero, five. I don't think we have that one. Oh, no. I almost spilled my body armor. Just hmm. uh, going the nice, solid four, metal six, body armor. Zero, five. Apartment. Where... Um... Apartment Love world. toy? Yeah. Love toy apartment? <laughs> to get cozy with shimming. Cozy with 
Okay, I ran out of space. It's fine. I got the shim. It's an apartment. Mm. It's an apartment with her and shimmings. So maybe we can search that area. So this is new. So this is new. I say we follow this lead. We finally have a lead. And we're only an hour and 20 minutes into the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God! So I guess we don't have to ask about Shimmings anymore. We know she's boning him. No, no, no. She's getting cozy with him. Whatever that means. It's whatever you wanted to mean. I'm sure it's all you know, you know, wholesome and family friendly, just like the background of her workplace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nav. Nav. Four six zero five. Be warned, there could be a gunfight. Probably this, is. this is this is new territory. Oh, clear out of this. I mean, we can go there and then say before exiting. Hmm. Or or we could save now and then go there and then save again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look, okay, apparently I did spill my bit 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 of the armor. <laughs> Your booty armor? A booty armor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they they have body armor. They should make booty armor. I, I I swear, I must have some sort of some kind of like dyslexia or something. I mean, not like a common one because I mean I can read fine. You have mental I, dyslexia. I, I, can, I can write more or less fine. I mean, it looks terrible, but I mean speaking, it's, it's like I get my words all messed up. Yeah. the thing auditory dyslexia I know there are different kinds of dyslexia um, I just don't know what they are mm. I know there's like a numerical dyslexia oh that must Where you get like numbers all messed up but you can read just fine that must because there, there are a lot of people with like the the, the, the the reading type of dyslexia they're great with numbers interesting oh we're almost there we mm. almost had enough idle chatter to, to fill this space. We're getting better at this! It's a gunfight, of course. Okay, if you guys could just like fire your guns all at the same time and then not fire all at the same time, that'll make everything a lot easier. That is one tough chair. This thing? Yeah. It's like a weird ornate filing cabinet thing. It's hard to tell what it is because of all the clone gore in front of it. And now they're just trolling you. It can't be helped. If I don't kill them, they just keep shooting. But every time I shoot them, they just keep coming back to life. is infuriating. Well, you got your bullets back! <sighs> uh. <sighs> mm. 
Mm, at least now we know we're having a gunfight. Okay. <sighs> oh, oh. Hmm. Reload. Yes. Escape. Yes. Slid right by that guy. The core of that bottom cabinet is made of adamantium. Oh, game. Sixty-nine bullets. Oh, there's a screen capture for you. <laughs> uh. Uh, Thirty minutes of me losing a gunfight. This is great internet content. Is it just me, or is this one harder than the other ones? It is. Have you noticed near the end they have like a string of seven bullets, not just the three and four and I, I think they're coming faster yeah oh okay mm -hmm. Okay, be the bullet. Be the bullet. Be the bullet. See it? Yep. Right there, like. Owie. Oh no! 
see that? Let's do it again. Yep. The gun is shooting me while they're falling. Oh, go. No, no, don't go. Oh, no. And now the game is completely and totally trolling me. All you gotta do is beat the bullet. It was working! Until it wasn't. Killed the guy. See how fast they're respawning? Mm -hmm. Is the fight difficulty set to, to, to easy still? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. Load, yes, escape. I mean, the first half of it's just fine. It's right there at the end. Impatient. I realize that. saying? Yep. It's instantly. As soon as one of the falls, the other dude's coming out shooting. <clears throat> Game options? Medium. Ah, fight what? level is not on low. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, load. Yes. So let's Escape. check. Uh, or, okay, we can't mm. do that now. the second guy. Just ate a stray bullet. <laughs> <laughs> After a gun battle, I open the door <clears throat> of the apartment. This is where Lola Lovetoy brought... Frank shimming before she'd had enough. Looks like someone else has moved in. 
say what? That would explain all the people. Okay, we have to mess with everything. And not die. Because I don't want to have to go through that gunfight again. We also know that if we leave and then come back and the gunfight like resets, we have to go through it again every single time. So... This is definitely in-game. X? You lost? <laughs> there it goes. Hopefully we find bullets. Scandinavian design dresser with a drawer. On the dresser is a mirror and a jewelry box. Check the mirror. Move the drawer. <laughs> drawer is not totally something. More lingerie. Women's lingerie from Fredericks of Hollywood size medium. Takes as a fetish. Mm-hmm. The matchbox is approximately two inches X something. A small ornate jewelry box. It appears to be securely fastened down. It's locked and you don't have the key. There was? You look in the mirror and see the tired, haggard face of a down on his luck PI. There's a button. Do we push the button? Um. It might open up a secret thing that has a thing in it. A button behind mirror. You can't open it. You press the button and a panel opens on the side of the holographic project unit. The what? Oh, Dips. the TV. <laughs> uh, go back. What's the switch for? Standard light switch. Oh, okay. Wait, you don't have a screwdriver to open up the light switch? Why does that look more like a sprinkler system than lights? I 100% agree with that. Well, I mean, if you think about it, lights do kind of spray out a mist of light. Yeah, this looks like some kind of love hotel thing. The rounded bed with all the pillows. And the lights are spraying out a mist of yeah. light. <clears throat> yeah, it's not just one giant bright light. It's like a cascading light all across the wall. <clears throat> and everything is red? Question mark? <clears throat> it's the color of passion. Yeah, so I said red? Question mark? Because my color blindness, I'm seeing shades of brown and orange. Well, you know, some browns are actually dark red. You know, what one of the um, kind of shading faux pas is to use the exact same color uniformly everywhere. It just looks flat. It has to be like a visual texture, some variation here and there. A flat table that is a, a table of some sort with rounded edges. And it has a sign on it? Danger, an electrical field. Okay, we might want to be careful around that. Oh, it must be this doohickey on the table itself. Mood globe. No, that's that's the doohickey. The mood globe. 
Samsonite Travel Master suitcase. It has a tag in it, on it, around it. It says, property of Big Jim Slade. Touch this and I'll kill ya. Touch. Maybe we take the tag? Th then he doesn't know that we touched it. And then he has to kill us. Ammo, we need that. 50 bullets. Really game. Shirt has an extremely loud pattern with sweat and liquor stains on it. Take it? Oh, it has a note. Read it? Note in pocket says Los Angeles Air Bus Station. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, my cord is in my way. Uh, okay, note in shirt. LA Air Bus Station 5194. L.A. Air. Apparently, Airbus is spelled Abus. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself there. Let me squeeze a little R in there somewhere. Yeah, that, that, that's totally readable, yes. Airbus. It doesn't really matter. Station uh, oh. 5149. Mm. Nine four. Nine four. <laughs> it's odd that earlier I was talking about numerical dyslexia. Okay, take the note, take the shirts, take the tag, take the suitcase. If we take the evidence, he doesn't know that we touched it. But take, 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 take the things. Antique Radio Shack Mood Globe, late 20th century. Very valuable, worth $2,000 on the street. Might want to take that. Remember Danger Electric Shock? That was the table. There was a sign on the table. And this is... Yeah. What is that noise? What is what noise? The the noise that played when you did a thing. The, did, 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 did a thing. Oh, I'm not listening. You got to be more specific. It was a noise. That noise. That's that thing. Nobody can see what you're doing with your hands. No, well, I'm showing you. The, the, see the color? It's yeah, like I mean, I see, warbling. I, I, I see what, the, is, what it's doing. That warbling noise must be going with the flashing lights. Look at, what exactly is it supposed to set the mood for? Okay. A copy of the best-selling book, An Elderly Man's Guide to Picking Up Chicks by Dr. Ron Morgan. Uh-huh. Maybe take it? Maybe just, like, take everything? I mean... Texas kind of down on his luck and everything. I mean, if RPGs have taught me anything, if the game lets you take it, then you take it. Until your inventory is full, then you... then you get a Drakethus to carry stuff for you. Serta number 717A circular love bed with a red comforter. A small panel is in the headboard. And it has an ashtray and a box in it. Ashtray is built into the headboard and is filled with cigarette butts. Look at the cigarette butts. I bet they're camels. Unfiltered camels. Mm-hmm. I think Slade killed Bosworth. Possibly. And if Slade has been here, that means the pass card could be here. What's in the box? The box description says, Inflatable companion. <laughs> the loser's friend. 
your perfect date at the movies, at the beach, or wherever you go. Warning, do not inflate on windy days. Tex, you might want to take this. Do we want to open it? Do we not? Do we want to on off it? Mm. <laughs> well, well, let's look at the inflatable mm. woman. A plastic woman in a polka dot bikini. She raised a 9.5. You seriously contemplate getting one for yourself, but decide that another one would just clutter the closet. Another one? This we is just cluttered. This is the text we're talking about. Uh, I mean, you can uh, take this one. What do you mean it can't be moved? She's full of air. Turn her on. Doing this seems odd, even for someone from San Francisco. Uh. Psychiatric help may be the answer to your problems, Tex. Uh, there we go. Look at the cushion. Small circular cushions made of satin. One cushion looks lumpy. Um, move it. Open it. Take it. Cigarettes and liquor. Tex has two favorite things. Cigarettes under the cushion are camels. Take. And... A bottle of Russian vodka is inside the panel. Of the cushion? I think maybe there was like a last minute change in where this is located. <laughs> and, and they didn't tell the description guy. Or, you know, it's one of those cushions with the little pillow fold thing that's the panel they're talking about. Yo, Tex, you want to taste it? You can have a key. You guzzle the rest of the bottle like a wino. It doesn't solve your problems, but it does make it harder to speak clearly. And no, that is not my problem. <laughs> what about the art? Artwork is an interesting post-nuclear piece called Rope Burn. You can't stand modern art, referring, no, preferring pictures of horses or a Union Pacific calendars. Mm -hmm. Ho ho, there's a switch. To reset the pressure since a burglar alarm, what? Um, the, the alarm is not alarming, though. I haven't said it yet. Awesome. So the alarm is unset. Maybe we should keep it unset. Well, see, it's a pressure-sensitive plate. I'm imagining somewhere over here is where it'll be set off. <clears throat> So now, is it on or off now? That is the question. Well, normally, we set off some kind of alarm when we move around and play with stuff. So if we on And off then we're sent to find a switch to turn it off. In this so, rare case, we have apparently found the switch before we set the alarm. So, if we on off it now, it should be off. Are you saying I should press the switch? Well, I mean, if if we're on, if we're assuming that the pressure sensitive <clears throat> burglar alarm is currently armed, and this switch turns it on and off, then if we on off it, then it will be unarmed. I mean, it did something. You want to test it out? What do you mean, test it out? You go wherever the pressure-sensitive burglar alarm is and see if we can trip it. Uh... 
All right, that's right. That's the art. So, um, desk, a wooden desk with rounded edges. The binder has a law and order insignia on it. Upon opening the binder, you see that someone has written a navigation code of NC... Okay, uh... Let's see, this would be... Okay, binder address. Adder. That's how you abbreviate address, right? A-D-D-R, adder, adder. It's five zero three seven. Let me guess. Unfiltered camels. A porcelain ashtray. Th over 30 cigarette butts are in the ashtray? D Big Jim Slade, you gotta stop. You're gonna kill yourself. Law and order confidential hit list. Names not crossed off. Harry Rice, Lola Lovetoy, Tex Murphy, Sonny Fletcher. Good job, Big Jim. I need to talk to you. Come to my house at... Ooh, 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 ooh. Robert Knott's house? That is... Oh, one, three, two. Also, Harry Rice. That's a new name. Yeah, Harry Rice. Okay, uh... Ha, <coughs> uh. <laughs> Harry Rice. Uh-huh. Also, uh, we're in trouble. Well, we knew that already. <laughs> hmm. Our, our boy Sonny, who's been warning us, is on the hit list, and so well, are we. Sonny was warning, um, Carl Linsky and Cal Davis. They warned us, too. Remember we had that anonymous fax? Get off the case, you're too close, SF. Uh, I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah, wow. Backtracking just blew this case wide open. Did it? Yes. Backtracking got us to go back to all these people, and then we started asking questions. And it was we, really the Lola <clears throat> Love Toy thing. We just like asked something. I can't even remember what. Well, yeah, but I mean, backtracking, we eventually got to somebody that gave us information that we previously did not have. That led us here. That led us to all of this. Also, I'm noticing all the cigarette butts everywhere. I mean, really, Big Jim Slade has got a problem. I mean, I, I, I get being a hired assassin is, is a very stressful job, but man. There's at least 30 of them here. So that means there's at least a pack of cigarettes there and a pack of cigarettes there and another there. That's Yeah, look at look at how many are in the drawer. That's probably like forty. And then on the on the dresser over there. Mm. I thought that was makeup and jewelry on this one. Oh, they look kinda of like cigarettes. Because they had kind of the same sprites as the ones in the drawers. Uh, yep. Then again, they're only like four pixels big, so how can you tell? Uh, Things taken out of context. Should we take this for evidence? Sure, why not? I mean, we're going to need evidence eventually. Okay, I guess we investigate the big screen and see if the uh, pressure-sensitive thingy is uh, unthinged. Or, or, or the flowers. We can investigate the flowers. Flowers are plastic carnations. And totally un 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 uninteresting. It, you just can't open the flowers.
Thanks is having a little trouble walking after uh, all that liquor. Small cabinet with a door and a VCR on the top of the cabinet. We can watch that movie now. There appears to be nothing in the cabinet. Okay. VCR is a surrealistic unit. Surrealistic unit? What? With high definition resolution and... 25 year programmability. So it's surrealistic. What does that mean? No idea. Okay. Is it open? Only qualified personnel are allowed to do that. You turn on the VCR and slip in the tape that you found at the beach house titled Top Heavy Beach Bimbos from Mars. Uh. Yeah, we're we're doing that. I guess it goes to the holographic imager. Yep. The television is a holographic 3D projection unit. Oh, do we have to turn it on? You turn on the imager, but it's receiving no signal from the VCR, so nothing is showing on the screen. I thought the VCR was already on. We need to plug it in. Panel reveals a button that turns off the energy field around the valuable mood globe. That's how we get the mood globe. Open the panel. Bouton. A red bouton. An inscription by the button says... Don't push unless you wish to turn off the protective field around the valuable mood globe. <laughs> when you take that, you activate the pressure plate, like some Indiana Jones ah. shit. I bet. <clears throat> but now how do we watch the tape? Because, I mean, I, I feel like that's not its actual label. That's a fake label to, like, you know, so that people won't automatically think, oh, this is incriminating evidence. I need to destroy it. Oh, no, that's just porn. I can just leave that. Mm-hmm. Door's already open, right? Mm-hmm. VCR? For a major appliance, this flavor is about average. Here's me securely fastened down. And we turn it on and slip in the tape, but it doesn't play. Used, what, what, okay, wait, we go back, back to on off. You sit down and watch a few moments of top heavy beach bimbos from Mars while the scenery is excellent. The acting leaves much to be desired. Okay, so it actually is porn. Oh, good. His heads in the way of any pixelated also it's extremely <laughs> pixelated yeah those like 10 pixels there are an entire person yeah uh, hitting uh, a I, what I assume to be a volleyball it's terrible it's very mm -hmm. repetitive Well, 
I guess we can grab the bed, uh, not the bed, uh, the mood globe, the suitcase, the tag, the shirts. Basically everything the game will let us take. Do we take the sign? Mm-hmm. No, no, we can't. Mood globe. That's valuable. You lift the globe from its pad and it sets off the pressure sensitive alarm and shuts the exit. You have five minutes to find the deactivation switch before the police have arrived. We already know where the... Already know where the switch is. We're one step ahead of you, game. I don't think you have to go exactly to it. There we go, now we can leave. Because I'm pretty sure that's everything in this area. No. Wait a minute, we took the suitcase, but we didn't actually take the suitcase? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no suitcase there anymore. Mm. Since we're here, let's see. Survive a gunfight. Open the matchbox. We did that, didn't we? Open the matchbox. No, we did not open the matchbox. I remember the matchbox, at... and then you like like clicked away from it <clears throat> so fast that I couldn't read all of it. Where was the matchbox at? Uh, jewelry box. Open it. Bracelet? Nope. What was a gold bracelet with small diamond stall? Street value of $1,800. Take. So maybe, okay, matchbox. We took it. Yeah, you, you took it before I could read anything about it. Okay. So it's in the inventory. Which means that if it was hiding anything, it's also in our inventory. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Moving on. So, da -da 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 -da, survive the gunfight. Top left dresser, look at the dresser, open the drawer, open the matchbox, take the bus station locker key. The lady just moved. Just moved? Yeah, she did like, like a sit-up or something. Oh. I wasn't looking. Are, are you waiting for her to move again? Yeah, you said she moved. Well, I don't know how frequently frequently she moves. Okay. Anyway, um, open the drawer. Look at the matchbox. There's a bus station key there. Uh, move the mirror. Use the button behind it. Now walk to the bed and look at the bed. Then the ashtray and the cigarette butts. Move the arc to reveal the alarm switch. Do not use it yet. The far right... Move the cabinet and open the satchel, then take the $5,000 from within. There was a satchel? Move the cabinet? Mm. Tanks is still having trouble walking after the liquor. He, he's lucky he didn't face plant right into the blend. Uh, the, the blend? <laughs> So you can move the entire cabinet? Yep. Black, medium size, something or other. 
black medium sized satchel. Yeah, five grand. Five grand and one hundred dollar bills. That's how you pay off people. So does this mean that we're gonna have to pay off even more people? Because I felt mm. like we were very close to the end. Maybe. Of course, you know, we're up to 2,000, 3,000. Somebody might need 10,000 to get that last person's bribery information. Because yeah. you notice it keeps going up and up and up. We got away with like 100, 200. We thought 500 was a lot. Then that uh, Lee girl wanted like 1,200 for something. And then Dweeb wanted 3,000 for the list of clients. So it, and, and the game may assume <clears throat> that we're just like, like, like paying for every bit of information left and right when, uh, mm -hmm. when we're trying to be a little more strategic. Yeah. Yeah, we could just be throwing money. Okay, you know, so I'll give you $500 for this information that only required 100 or 200 it's Possible. It's or we could be paying somebody for information that we already have. Yeah, all the time. Instead of, you know, let, let's come back to this and let's come back to that and... Okay, and now we have the cabinet door. It's already Which is open. already open. It's so weird. Open the panel, the age made the force field. Robert Knott's navigation code. The shirt has the bus station nav code. Take some ammo. The jewelry box. The mood globe. Top left dresser. Open the jewelry box. You can take the bracelet. Okay, so at some point we got a key. So we're done here. We can officially leave. Hmm. Okay, we should probably check the inventory for that um, um matchbox. Can I do that now? No, you can never access the inventory from these indoor areas for some reason. I guess it's all stored in the car. I don't know how he manages to teleport it into the car, but... Dimensional hole pocket. See, that's early game stuff right there. Let's see, the matchbox will be lowered down, theoretically. And this matches. Matches. More matches? Matches, lingerie, bracelet, key. There it is. A bus locker key. The locker number has been filed off. It appears that the station address is written on the back. Los Angeles. 5194. Do we have that one? Yeah, 5194. Uh -huh. We got that one. So that's, that's the key because there's the bracelet and the matches and the lingerie. And the liquor. And the Texas liquor. Favorite. Actually, no, liquor, his liquor of choice is the, the whiskey and stuff. That's the vodka. Hmm. See, Russian vodka. Ah. Because in true um, trope form, Jim Slade is apparently probably some kind of Russian mobster guy working probably. with the Law and Order Party. Because, you know, cigarettes everywhere, large sweaty clothes. Um, uh, we should probably call it for this episode. All right. <clears throat> well, we're getting there. I mean, we at least have places we can go now. Oh, we have a name we can ask about oh. you know, mm -hmm. next week. Let's not worry about it right now. Uh... All right.
Let's see, and you just saved, right? I think so. Just make sure. Okay, so yeah, next week we got Harry Rice to investigate as well as the binder address and the... The Airbus, yeah, the, the locker. The, the Airbus locker station thingy. Uh, oh, we have an address on Robert Connaught now. Yep. So yeah, we got a lot we can do next week. In the meantime, did this make you laugh? Did this make you smile? Did this brighten your day in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? If it did, pass it on. Find someone you care about, make them laugh, make them smile, brighten their day. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And with that, I will see you when I see you. Whoa, guys, before you leave, thank you for watching. I forget to say that sometimes. You don't have to watch, but you do, so thank you. Also, did you know I have a Patreon? I do. Video games aren't free. Sucks, right? So I need to fund this channel somehow. You get access to a private Discord channel, and if more people sign up, I'll start letting patrons vote on what games I play. Minimum pledge is $1, and thank you to the people who have already signed up. It really does help. And if you're not in a financial position to help support through Patreon, then don't. Take care of yourself first. But do consider subscribing if you haven't already. If the channel does well enough, I can start earning revenue off those ads that YouTube is forcing on all of us. Again, video games aren't free. And once again, thank you to everybody.